My short presentation is on chatbots. So I'm going to be looking at chatbots in WordPress. Um, so I'm just getting these guys to set up as I uh, also adjust my mic. Okay. So, um, how many of you guys have uh, heard of the term chatbot? Just by areas of end? Perfect. So, since all of you guys know, I think we can as well call it a day. Uh, maybe we can just have a discussion instead. So, um, chatbots, in short, is, uh, it's coming from chat robot which also uh, refer to what we call uh, virtual customer assistance. So that's your customer assistant, but in the form of a robot. It's just a machine uh, or even a system that mimics human interactions. I think that's the simplest uh, definition that I can use uh, for now. Uh, so in Zim, uh, we've got uh, a couple of bots that already are on the market. Um, I don't want to make this a one-man uh, you know, presentation. I just want us to have that conversation. Can you just mention a few that you know? Just one. Yes. Oh, that's the, the Stuart uh, Bank bot, yes? And after that, I hope that everyone else uh, stopped. It was only that. That's it, chatter, chatter. Okay, so uh, I think it was uh, Batsy who made a lot of noise first in Zim, and they had a lot of media reviews. And because they were first in the you know, space, they got a lot of mileage. But there were other bots that were in existence way before Batsy. You know, there's Coolie Bot, where you can reach out your, uh, your, your, your Zessa using uh, WhatsApp. And then FBC at one point, I uh, wanted to introduce their own version of uh, Batsi, and they referred to it as uh, Chi, Chido. Should be Chido or Chipo. Yeah, Chido. Uh, I, I know what, one thing that you can pick from all these names is that they are taking a person, isn't it? And the reason why bots have to take a person is because they have to identify with a human being. Uh, if I know I'm talking to a robot, then automatically I, 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 some people feel offended. You know, that these people would not have a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, interchange with me. They would rather assign a bot to attend to my queries, especially when you're in the financial sector. So at one point when I was uh, at one of uh, the banks, uh, there were a lot of queries that would come through, uh, people wanting to know why their balances were, uh, you know, disappearing, and someone would call uh, saying, why didn't I get an SMS uh, for my transaction? And... One of the biggest um, setbacks was that you have three, uh, maybe, customer assistants uh, at your call center, and you've got a queue of, say, 50 people at one point in time. And because you're all in a queue, you get the, the, the general statement, your call is important to us, uh, please hold on whilst we assign you to a, uh, a customer assistant. And you wait for 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, sometimes you run out of airtime, and then you have to go back and look for airtime, or the core drops. And that is very frustrating. That's where chatbots come in now, because you no longer want to have, um, you know, you, you're, you're going to disappoint your customers. The whole idea is to have your customers interested and to retain them as well. It's all about customer satisfaction. In as much as you're blogging, in as much as you're selling online, what you also want to do is to retain your customers, maintain that customer base, and keep them interested in your products. And you can only do that once you employ uh, automated systems. Uh, there is still a gap. Okay, let me just fix this. I think I'm already finishing my presentation without people seeing what I'm talking about. Uh, so if I may have your indulgence, thank you. would like to thank Batsy, the bot, uh, for assisting us. Uh, we now have uh, the, the presentation. 
Okay, thank you, uh, Tapio. Um, okay, so just a brief uh, background on uh, where we are coming from. According to the Business Insider, 85% uh, of all conversations online are assumed to be without human intervention by the year 2020. And you know what that means? That means if you're in customer uh, services, if you are a, a call a center agent, you are at risk of being replaced by a robot. And that's the ugly truth. You know, if you have noticed, we are moving from print to digital. In fact, we are already in the transition. And if you want to stick to what you know and say print has been our baby since time immemorial, you remain behind and robots will take over. Uh, it reminds me of Star Wars. So remember, move with the trend, isn't it? Join the bandwagon. Uh, and because of that, it then means we also, as uh, WordPressers, need to invest in AI. Even on our websites, we also need to employ an element of artificial intelligence. It can be through uh, these chatbots that I'm referring to. By the way, chatbots can be conversational or they can be intelligent chatbots. Uh, by intelligent, I mean they can learn what you want them to know, and then they can adjust according to the questions that are being posed to them. Um, this is what some of the chatbot uh, plugins that I'm going to mention to you uh, can do for you. And then bringing it back to Zim, you find that uh, in 2017, the NCSI, uh, was launched in Zimbabwe, and it said that most of the companies had uh, customers that were, you know, not happy because of the way they had to wait for information. For instance, how many of you guys have had a situation when you wanted to recharge your uh, Zessel meter and maybe you ran out of uh, power, but you don't know how to do it, the meter is dead, you don't have batteries, and you have to call to Zesa to get an agent to help you, and then they tell you, uh, wait, let me look for a, a, tech, a, a technician to assist you. When you could have just plugged in your, uh, your meter on the cooker, uh, you know, mains plug, and then you can recharge. All that information you could have gotten from an FAQ, isn't it? But you, because you don't have it at your, at your disposal, you literally had to go through uh, an agent. And some of these people are not as friendly as our lovely chatbots. So why bother dealing with humans when we can have people who are not going to waste our time? Let's go through the chatbots uh, path. Right. So um, why, why, why chatbots? Obviously, they are cheap. Uh, the previous speaker mentioned that WordPress is very cheap. And because we are still dealing with WordPress uh, plugins, it means that you're going to save a lot of money by employing uh, chatbots instead of a human being who wants the 13th check every time again they want uh, even benefits. Chatbots are there for life. Once you install them, all you need to do is just continue training them, isn't it? So instead of uh, uh, employing Chipo, the real human, just employ Chipo, the bot, uh, for less money. Um, then. Like I said, all the time we are doing the same thing over and over again. It's repetitive. There are times when you just need to have that in a bot. Let the bot do it for us. So we are automating our systems. Um, most of the banks in Zim right now are, are having that problem because they are doing routine jobs, routine work that could have been done by a bot. But because they don't want to employ bots, they continue employing people. And you know, instead of realizing profits, you realize loss. Uh, and then it's also, like I said, it's, it's uh, quite embarrassing that you have to wait, wait for someone who is attending to someone else to get help. With chatbots, one chatbot can be talking to all of you at the same time. Now that's value for money. Uh, instead of you having to wait for the real chipo who is talking to John, uh, and then you are oh, number five on the queue, just let chipo. Uh, do the talking for all of you guys. And then uh, also in terms of user experience, I think the previous speaker once said content is now king. And because content is now king, most people are aligning themselves with uh, social media platforms. And most of the conversations are happening on social media platforms. And because of that, 
you need to in, uh, have a, a setup where people think they are doing social, whereas they're actually doing their transactions. I can be uh, doing my uh, accounts in a bot, but I would not realize that as long as it's social. I don't know if you get what I mean. It's not too formal. Have you ever been to a bank and you want to request for a, uh, uh, what do you call that, the statement? And then they, they, they give you this funny face and they ask you, uh, when was the last time you came to the bank? Uh, who is the branch manager ETC? That is quite uh, stressing. And because of that, you can just use uh, a bot which acts like a human and doesn't waste your time. Okay. And then the last thing is, there have been advances in AI, like I said. Big data is the, 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 the game of the day. Uh, artificial intelligence, big data, and your uh, internet of things. Everything is now integrated. And because artificial intelligence, you know there is now uh, augmented reality that is soon to come to uh, also Africa. It, Facebook introduced, uh, uh, I think, spaces, Facebook spaces. And because of that, we also need to uh, tap into that technology through our WordPress uh, blogs. So, uh, we mentioned the examples of the local uh, chatbots. Um, there was a, a promotion that was run by uh, Shield, where they asked people to uh, enter their details via WhatsApp, but they were actually talking to a bot, not a person. And all the registrants that you know, registered on that uh, bot managed to uh, interface with the bot, which, which was a good way of saving money. That whole uh, promotion was done uh, at a less uh, cost than if we had engaged uh, you know, a human being. So we've got chat building platforms that you, as the web presser, can also tap into. Uh, uh, you've got your motion AI, you've got your um, IBM Watson. I, I personally like IBM Watson and Dialogflow, as well as Hello Taz. All these platforms are already there on the internet. You can uh, you know, look into them. And IBM uh, Watson also has a course that you can take just to learn how to use the, uh, you know, the chatbots. So they can give you um, an outline, and you can use, uh, you can learn how to do it at your own pace. And then also IBM Watson has a plugin that you can plug into WordPress. Um, you can then uh, use that plugin to collect data, or to do surveys, and even to uh, automate your uh, FAQs. So the most uh, popular ones are ChatFuel, Watson, um, and uh, Dialogflow. It's not on this one. Um, so let's look at the chatbot plugins. That, since we are at a WordPress conference, let's look at the actual plugins that you can use to uh, you know, employ uh, chatbots in your WordPress website. So there is one that is known as uh, IBM Watson Conversation. Uh, how many of you guys know the IBM Watson uh, framework? Perfect. Perfect. You know, when people know their stuff, they raise their hands like Superman. <laughs> yes. That's, that's good. Yeah. So, this is one robust system. And if you have time, look into it. It, it will save your life. It will really go a long way, believe you me. Um, you can create your own chatbots in what, Watson. At some point, IBM was offering scholarships to people in Africa to undertake Android development, uh, bot development, and we should also be looking out for those uh, platforms. They really help. It's not really techy. It's what you and I can do, the layperson and that. Right, we move to the next one, which is uh, Virtual uh, Spirits. Chatbots, uh, from the name Virtual Spirits, uh, for, for those who are religious, um, thank God it's a paid chatbot, so you are safe. <laughs> uh, so Virtual Spirits is, is, is all good because it also covers other languages apart from English. So if you want to do uh, chatbots that can be understood by someone who is in Portugal or France, then this is the one for you. And then we can uh, move on to the next one which is um, a free live chat. Uh, this one now is a 24-7 automated chatbot that can collect information when you are not online. And then it can then send you 
uh, via a, a, the database or even as an export file. You can do a CSV of that and then you can later on call your people if you want. You can even con complete all the conversations within the bot. All you just need to do is follow what was happening. So this will help you. And then we've got uh, the WP chatbot for Facebook uh, Messenger. So this one is dope in the sense that you are running the chatbot in your uh, WordPress site, but it then pushes your notifications to your Facebook Messenger. For bloggers, I would, uh, I would uh, suggest you use this one. Why? Because if you post something, you don't necessarily have to go to Facebook and say, I've posted something. This can push that content to your uh, Facebook. Um, and then we've got Woobot. For those who are doing uh, e-commerce, this is uh, a bot that was specifically uh, designed to work with uh, your WooCommerce, uh, you know, uh, yeah, your, your WooCommerce. So if you've got a WooCommerce or a Shopify uh, store, you can use this one. It'll help you. Uh, it can even suggest the products that a person can buy when they type specific keywords. Remember with chatbots, you can also train your chatbot to behave in a certain way. All you need to do is write a few questions and then respond to the questions and then the chatbot can learn uh, through those questions. Okay, um, and then we've got chat X, chat X and we also have um, collect.chat uh, and uh, right, I think for now you can use those ones. Now, we have to talk about the do's and don'ts. They're important. The do's and don'ts are important in the sense that there are a lot of, a lot of people who think that once you have a chatbot, then everything's okay. Uh, let me give this analogy. Uh, if you have a chatbot, it's like someone who has gotten married and then they think everything is now rosy. If you don't work on that marriage, it, it can actually be your downfall. So remember, chatbots are bots. At one point, there should be that human element, isn't it? So always make sure that if you are employing a chatbot, a person can identify with that, that chatbot as if they are talking to an actual individual. For instance, this is your intro. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Chido. Uh, how can I be of help to you? That's more conversational, isn't it? Don't be like this. To infinity and beyond. You know, uh, it won't help. Keep it human, isn't it? And then, they, the most corporate companies, uh, they, they make the mistake of putting a lot of corporate jargon. Uh, so if you want uh, the basic plan for our insurance, we, we need you to have done A, B, and C. That is too formal. And remember, we are trying to keep it fun and interactive. Once you do that, you are chasing me away. And keep the, the chats short. Don't give me a paragraph. That's what I ran away from your website. So don't, don't give me a, a lecture as to why I need to talk to you. So keep it short. And like I said, we have to keep, give the bot a persona. That is very important. They need to know they are talking to someone. Uh, that's why um, Batsy was given that name, so that people can uh, identify with a name. Right. And then it is sometimes easier to just use what are known as buttons. Buttons, in sense, you are guiding the user to follow through what you want them to click on, instead of them having to go on a white goose chase, that will take them more time. And then the don'ts. Never use chatbots to handle sensitive information. I'm using never, why? Because in this age of uh, digital privacy, where a lot of in emphasis is on privacy, if by chance I send my details to a chatbot and I leave my l a laptop uh, unattended and someone at can, I mean, uh, view what I have done, then I'm at risk. You know, now there's card cloning. So if I, I was using Wubo, for instance, and I left my card details, you know. Right, um, you can also, you, you should never leave users hanging. For instance, hello, how can I help you? And then you say, I want to know about A, B, and C. And then you don't respond. That's it, you, the chatbot doesn't know it. It's t it gets stuck and then the user is still waiting for a response. Never do that. With social media, you'll be massacred. They'll take screenshots and then they'll post. And then some of us, like those in the web place group, will take screenshots, share within the group, take it outside the group, share within another group, so that you get the full impact of what you've done. Anyway, 
don't use long responses and don't be uh, uh, ambiguous either. Basically, that's, uh, that's sad both uh, in a uh, wait for us. I think uh, that will be my presentation for today. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.